Energy conservation is one of the five conservation laws of the universe. It holds true from particle physics all the way up to astrophysics. And the most important concept and, kind of, and, and the definition of energy conservation is that the energy you start with, i.e. the initial energy, that's what the I is for, initial, is equal to the final energy. So, for example, if we want to know the speed at point E, so we want to know what's the speed here, well, we can use energy conservation. So, a quick note, energy conservation always holds true in the universe at large, but it'll also hold true in a closed system. So, closed system means no energy is released to, is transferred to other places. So, for example, if there was friction on the tracks, that would create heat, which would then go into the atmosphere, so the roller coaster would slow down. Um, we will treat no friction for this problem, and therefore, the energy will be conserved in the system of the roller coaster. So, again, back to our question at hand. What is the velocity at point E? Well, let's solve the problem. Let's take point A as a starting point, and we know that energy is conserved, so the energy at point A it will equal the energy at point E. Smartboard doesn't seem to like equal signs. Let's see if I can do that again. Ah, there we go. So, Let's take, um, let's take the units out for this problem so we can focus on the numbers. It's all in meters and seconds, so our answer will come out in meters and seconds for the velocity. At point A, we just have potential energy. The, the roller coaster starts from rest, so there's no kinetic energy. And there's no spring energy or other sources of chemical energy. At point E, we also have potential energy. And I'll put an E symbol there. But at point E, we know from our experience of, of roller coasters, it'll be moving here. So therefore, it has kinetic energy as well. I recommend always writing out the types of energy you have before you jump to solving the problem. Now, at point A, we know potential energy is mgh, h being the height above the ground, and here we know it's 120 meters. That equals the potential energy at point E, which is mg 40 meters, plus the kinetic energy, which has the formula of 1 half mv squared. Right off the bat, we see that we can divide both sides by m, and the m's cancel. We also can, we also know what the acceleration of gravity is, and it's, um, it's 10 meters per second squared, uh, 9.806 blah blah blah, but we will round to 10 so we can work this out on the board. And so we get a hundred we get 120 times 10, which is 1,200, and that equals 40 times 10, 400, plus 1 half V squared. Now, if we subtract 400 from both sides, Remember, what you do to one side, you always do to the other side. Then we end up with 800 equals 1 half V squared. Multiply both sides by 2. The 2's cancel here. 2 times 800 is 1,600. So now we have 1,600 
equals v squared, which then we take the square root of both sides, so that we get v equals square root 1600, and therefore v is equal to 40 meters per second. And that's the speed that the roller coaster is moving at at point E.